Hey everybody, hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be checking out the brand new song from the artist or band known as So You On or So Yoon, possibly. I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering that. I mean no disrespect, it's just, just the way it is. I'm bad with pronunciating stuff and pronouncing things or even saying the word, apparently. <laughs> I should not have a microphone, but I do. And it is what it is. Anyway, this song is uh, featuring Arm of BTS. Hell yeah, air horns my boy. Uh, and the song is called Smoke Sprite. Interesting, interesting title. Um, I don't let I don't drink Sprite, so I'm sure as hell not going to smoke it, unless the song is really convincing. Maybe it's convincing enough to get me into the smoke smoking Sprite hobby. I will be a a, a, a smoking Sprite enthusiast if this song is good. Uh, so let's see if they can pull it off. Let me pull up the screen, and uh, we'll we'll get into it, shall we? Here we go. She's really sunburned. I love the texture so far. Sorry to pause so early, but I want to talk about the production here, guys. Just a little bit here. Uh, I love the fuzzy driven bass. I'm assuming it's from an organic instrument, just using a lot of processing and not a keyboard, uh, just from the slide and the notes and just like the annotations, annotations uh, on each note played. You could do that with a wheel, but I think this is probably from a live instrument with just a lot of uh, effects. Uh, liberal use of the phaser effect, by the way. <laughs> I dig it. Um, but I love it, man. I like the big, crunchy uh, bass sounds. Sometimes you get it from a group called Muse. I'm a big fan of Muse, so I love this kind of fuzzy sound. Anyway, uh, great, interesting use of effects for the bass and the vocals. I'm not exactly sure what they're using for effects on the vocals here. Uh, it sounds like some kind of doubling up, so it kind of gives itself its own little harmony. Um, but it doesn't sound like there's any... Uh, change an octave on the vo voice, so it's not like a true harmony or anything. It's just doubling up on it, uh, and then a lot of uh, chorus effects, and then something to make it real shiny. Anyway, when you have that clean, really ultra shiny vocals mixed together with a dirty bass like that, that in itself kind of creates the chord on its own. Very, very cool. Mix that together with the trip hop drums. I'm a big uh, fan of the sound replacement they're also using on the drums, and you get yourself this cool little spacey indie rock song so far. Anyway, let's uh, see where this thing goes. Lot of face. I just know, and there's to you, body and soul. I know all day, but so don't be a shit. It's not a love, but keep chasing after. It makes me look good. You already know, I'm not pretending. Yeah, I know. Why is she so sunburned? What is happening here? I feel bad for her. I feel like she was out at the beach and she's wearing a completely different outfit, and now she's got to do this. That's what it is, right? Gotta be cold too. Oh, here we go. That's a cool little lead in for RM there. I like it. The frequency drops, everything reverses, and then we're going to change the vibe up completely with a very reassuring handshake from our boy RM. Let's hear that again. Yeah. Honey, what 
I liked his part. I'm going to take it back here one more time to listen to it again, but very playful with these trip hop style drums, uh, little suggestive lyrics. Uh, and I, I want to take it to the next space level as well. Are we going to be getting a space rock album from RM? I don't know. We'll find out. I hope so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, very, very cool. I like how it went in reverse. They dropped the frequency. It just kind of changed the vibe a little bit, chilled things out a little bit. Um, you know, up until RM's part, it was very kind of almost begrudgingly sexy in a way. And I don't mean that from any of the visuals or anything, although the lady's very pretty, albeit she has a sunburn, but hey, we've all we've all been there. Um, but the the, the vibe of the song, you know, kind of just has like that, like, I don't know, seductive kind of nature to it. Um, but Arm kind of changes it up a little bit, makes it a little bit more chill and relaxed, uh, at least musically. Uh, vocal, I'm sorry, uh, lyrically, it's a little... I guess it can be suggestive, whatever. Um, I like how he mixes it up here a little bit as well. We start off in Korean and then we're moving over to English. I was a little worried his part would be completely in Korean and I'd have no idea what he was saying. Uh, but I'm glad that he put some English in there for for guys like me. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, no, very, very cool. And uh, my favorite part is just how playful his verse is here with the drums. Really interesting fill work. Works great with his uh, his vocal styling. Yeah, the fill work. Playful, right? Interesting slap pack effect on his voice and on the drums as well. It kind of just creates this really like chill vibe. We're, we're getting taken back into the main chorus here, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, it, it's interesting how they, they're using... Um, the spatial sound differently for his part. Oh, now we get the harmony. Beautiful. So she's singing this like really, really high, very clean and polished as we talked about, uh, like a falsetto here, whereas Arm has like, is bringing a little bit more um, bass to the mix as well. So it's creating more of that true harmony that was, um, kind of created with the bass and everything through it. And if you listen now too, the bass uh, is a little bit lowered down just to give arm a little bit more chance to breathe. I would like this to be mixed a little bit better personally. Um, I feel like I'm grasping at straws here because I really do enjoy this song. But if I had one thing to pick out here, one small uh, criticism uh, is I, I wish he was just up a little bit higher in this mix here because I feel like if we had a little bit more of that uh, masculine uh, energy and sound from RM, we could get a much better harmony. Uh, but there's so much thing, so many things happening spatially here. I kind of understand and probably, you know, I do understand the direction they were probably going for and trying to make uh, the soundscape or the sound stage to be as wide as possible. So I get it. It's just I'm, I'm literally grasping at straws because there's really nothing to complain about, in my opinion, with this song uh, besides this little mixing thing. Just give me a couple more decibels, just a couple more. kind of psychedelic here. I love the tone on this guitar. Oh, drums are awesome on that downbeat. It's like it's catching up with itself. All right, there it is. Smoke Sprite featuring RM from the band Sun You On. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm partial. You know, I'm partial to the indie rock stuff anyway, guys. I like that kind of thing. You know, some of my favorite artists are Silver Sun Pickups, Muse, and stuff like that. Uh, you guys might not even know about. 
uh, but they're very creative with their sound design and they're very creative with their writing and structure. And that's usually what excites me about music. So when I heard RM was gonna be collaborating with this artist and they're gonna be doing some kind of indie rock project, I was very excited. I even heard a couple seconds of the clip and um, yeah, I heard some of that, like uh, that bass. And I was like, oh, this is pretty good. But overall, man, I, I really do. I enjoy the song. I like the drumming on this. I like the, the uh, sound replacement on the uh, drums. Uh, at times, there's multiple different patches that are used. So it sounds like one drum is like right in the room with you and one is like in a different room and it just sounds like it just gives it like it sounds like you have a, a much more like um, a bigger sound stage to work with. You know, it just sounds like instruments are kind of all over the place. Uh, great use for the bass, awesome use for the effects for the vocals, even though the vocals, I think on their own sounded pretty good when that effect kind of came off uh, for the softer, quieter parts. Uh, I think Arm did a great job here, added a completely different vibe to his middle part and did really well with the harmonies by just adding a little bit more bass uh, to the main hook that we heard uh, two times up until that point. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit louder, but other than that, I think it was really, really cool. I like the introduction they gave him as well, how the music just kind of morphed out and the frequency dropped and then everything just went reverse and then RM just kind of started over with this playful uh, trip hop down tempo vibe uh, drum beat. Yeah, no, pretty good. Yeah, pretty, pretty damn good. I love this style of sound song, though, and this this sound. So this is like right up my alley. So, yeah, I'm 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 pleased with it. Uh, it's kind of it has like a sexy type of vibe. I don't know. I just get that from like the slow, I don't know, like begrudgingly moving forward song. I don't know. I just, I just get that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? If you guys like it, please let me know. Uh, if you don't, um, I guess you can let me know as well. But I think it's not really going to affect my opinion. <laughs> I'm just going to like it regardless. Uh, I, I want to check out more from this artist. I think a while ago, RM mentioned something or said something about the song uh, Wave from these guys or The Wave. So I think I'm going to probably put that on YouTube. In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube now, it's probably already on YouTube. I'm going to release that before I release this video. Um, I just don't want to release this the day the song came out, just so I'm not sniping views, you know, that whole that whole thing. Let's uh, <laughs> be cool about it. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out and uh, I'll see you all soon for a, uh, another video. Bye, everybody.